Hello everybody, I'm Bruno Vuillo, a first year PhD student supervised by Ludovic Allo in CA uh, in Bordeaux in France and by Marco Montemiro and Enrico Panetieri in the laboratory I2M from the RMIT schools in Bordeaux in France too. Today I will present a sensitivity analysis of a car shock absorber through a functional market unit based modeling strategy. So I will uh, present my uh, thesis uh, as introduction before present the car shock absorber system. Then I will uh, present the modelica model of this uh, system before present the sensitivity analysis method. Then I will talk about the numerical results of this analysis and I will conclude and uh, talk about uh, outlooks. Today, there are more and more difficulties in conducting experiments because of their costs, because of their complex physics, because of their, I don't know, maybe the, the grid height. I think about the Lanzer Mega Joule in Bordeaux. So we are seeing since a few years the uh, increasing of the simulation and modelization with uh, an increasing demand too for computer resources. Uh, due to that, uh, today we can see an emergence of metamodeling strategy. So my thesis objective is to develop metamodeling strategy to solve engineer system model. Uh, basically to reduce the computing time, to do also quick pre preliminary design with amplified model, and to apply computing resources just where it is necessary. In my thesis, I will study typical application like this one, an airbag switching system. We have a piston moving in oil. At the beginning, the piston is on the left, uh, pre-constrained by a spring. When we will apply an external acceleration, the piston will move on the right. So the idea is to subdivide the system into elementary blocks and to determine the critical components. So thanks to previous experiments, uh, we deduce that the pressure drop, uh, regular and singular, are the most are the critical components. To describe it, we have a different way: uh, non-lattical uh, description, thanks to Bernoulli law, uh, thanks to a meta model with adaptive precision, or thanks to a finite element. Our final goal is to evaluate different robust and adaptive precision meta modeling strategy to replace these critical components into a system more or less complex. I have different means to do that. Uh, to uh, model our system uh, uh, through elementary blocks, I will use Modelica and especially MapleSim or Dimola. To our typical problem, sensitivity analysis could be useful to, uh, to be sure that we are working on the good part of our system. So I will use Sobolt indices for that. I have also to include the external code or meta model thanks to a phenomenon in our global uh, Modelica model. And we have also to determine the sufficient level of description of our critical blocks thanks to L2 norm convergence. This is not yet, it's still under reflection. So what's new exactly in my thesis? To the multifidelity with a system approach thanks to Modelica, and to evaluate NURBS and PGD as metamodel strategy. I will not present it today, uh, but I can ask to your question in the question session if you want. Today I will present the second point, uh, the sensitivity analysis on a, a simple system. So the car shock absorber. This is a system quite simple, uh, described by uh, four uh, elements a support with a, in series with a damper in parallel with a spring loaded by a, a car mass and a passenger mass. The physical description of this, uh, of this system is this way. We want to study the piston behavior. So we will apply uh, the Newton second law on this piston by taking into account five forces the spring, the damper, and the Archimedes forces, and the passenger and the car weights. Modelica, to solve this uh, problem, will also apply the Newton second law, but implicitly if we are using the, the graphic uh, view. 
So now I will present the Modelica model itself and the sensitivity analysis method. So the Modelica model, due to its complex expression and dependence from the mass velocity, frictional force is the single um, elementary blocks Uh, that we that I didn't find in the Modelica standard library, so I decided to build it thanks to some blocks. But the other blocks are quite simple. Uh, the important things when we want to do a sensitivity analysis is to define the observed BR view, the wanted BR view. Here it corresponds to the final position that which have to be at 0.64 meters from the floor and dependent from the BRV type of our piston. Indeed, when, you, we want, when we are running our system, we will have different BRV. I, I plot the main uh, in this graphic. We can see uh, in blue a uh, block, completely blocked uh, BRV. In uh, green, a uh, semi-periodic BRV and in black, Uh, completely dumped the PR view. Our reference uh, simulation is plotted in red, and I also uh, uh, give the parameters who allows us to plot these red curves. Uh, so the K is uh, the coefficient spring uh, constant, the L0 is the unstretched spring length. R in correspond to the internal radius of our piston where the oil is uh, moving in. The H correspond to the height of our piston, MP to the passenger mass, and MC to the car mass. Our tool to find the optimal calibration are this one. We have the uh, we can do then a prephysical analysis to do a first simplification, for example. We are uh, observed that the piston accumulated forces uh, was 10 times lower than the other one, so we decided to delete this uh, elementary block. And we can use also a sensitivity analysis uh, to find our uh, main uh, parameters. So we will do this sensitivity analysis thanks to SOBOLS and DCs. So, what is it uh, briefly? So we will have elementary and total sobol index. So elementary sobol index translates the influence of one parameter on the observed output, a scalar output. It could be expressed in percentage. We have also the total sobol index. It translates the influence of one parameter and its interactions with other parameters. Its value can be greater than one. The first work in uh, sobol's uh, analysis is to Uh, define the parameter that we want to study and their va range variation. Uh, so here we took a range variation to a physical BR view and uh, we, the, the parameters are defined thanks to a uniform law in this range variation. Mathematically, this uh, symbols and indices are deduced from the variance decomposition property. Uh, I will uh, talk about uh, now In these two, uh, in these two following slides. So the elementary symbols and DC. We are considering a mathematical mathematical model with n parameters in input and one scalar output y. The objective is to uh, study the variation of our output y by fixing one parameters. And we will globalize this uh, by taking the expected value of this variance. So if this variance is smallest than the global variance of our output y, we can deduce that uh, uh, the studied parameters its influence. Thanks to the total variance th theorem, we can say that by taking the variance this time of the expected value of the, our output by fixing one parameter, if this value is uh, great, we will have an important Sobol's elementary index, uh, uh, which is translated the, the, that our parameter is influence. The global variance of our output y is used to normalize the, uh, this Sobol's indices. And we have also the total Sobol's indices. 
you can see in the bottom of this slide that the total Sobol's index into one parameter is equal to the sum of the elementary Sobol's index of this parameter, summed with the Sobol's indices of order greater than one. You can note that uh, Sobol's indices of order equal to two is equal to the ratio of the second term of the opting theorem normalized by the variance of our output y. An indices of order equal to three is uh, in the same way built thanks to the third term of the opting theorem normalized by uh, the vari variance of our output. To illustrate that, I put a little scheme in the right uh, with the different dependence uh, uh, between the different uh, sobol's indices. Numerically, to compute the sobol's indices, we use the Saltelli algorithm. It's based on a great number of simulations with different parameter sets. Because the sobol's indices are computed at each uh, simulation regarding the precedent. And to be correct, the Sobol's indices are to converge in function of the number of simulations. So we have to do a lot of simulation, and, and we are so to do that, we use the FMU file uh, exportation op option of Modelica uh, to have uh, a light uh, program uh, run a lot of time by, the, by a Python code. So we can see that here. By plotting the Sobol's indice value in function of the sample number, we will observe different things. At the beginning, we can see that the total index must be greater than the elementary index, and positive. By regarding the, the, the definition, that's impossible. So, uh, we can also have elementary index lesser than zero. By seeing the definition, it's impossible too. So it was that we have to um, to do a lot of simulation uh, to obtain the convergence of our uh, Sobol's indices. And here we can see that our convergence is uh, obtained after uh, some after thirty uh, uh, thousand simulation. When the convergence is lead, we can use our results. So we can see that uh, we have this Sobol's index and this uh, elementary and total Sobol's index at t equal two seconds and after 20 seconds of simulations. We can see that L0, the uncertain spring length, is the, the, the influential uh, parameters uh, at t equal two seconds and 20 seconds by opposition to the internal radius, the, the less influential uh, parameters. We can see especially that at t equal 20 seconds, that uh, our internal radius haven't, hasn't any influence on our output. This is due to the fact that this parameter uh, has a role just inside the damper forces uh, expression. And the damper forces have a role solely when the piston is moving. So after 20 seconds of simulation, our piston will be stabilized to its final position, so the damper forces will not have action on it, and our internal radius will not have any influence. And we can see also that the mass have a normal run and have also uh, uh, almost the same influence at the beginning and after. And now, so we can delete, as I said, the accumulate force from the Modelica model. We can also replace the spring by external code or meta model to a good uh, description. Or so basically, we can just pay attention to the calibration of the, its uh, parameters. And one thing that I repeat, we have to pay attention about the studied output. In our case, uh, the internal radius is the less influential parameter because we are studying the final position. Okay, we can I, I use the reference parameters by and I played with the internal radius value and we can see that the final position is always the same. But the BR view is not the same. We have a semi-periodic and a, a completely dampered BR view. So we have to define our wanted solution. So to conclude, I can say that the Sobol indexes are good indicator, but the physician point of view is necessary to not uh, over-interpret it. 
FME norm is useful for quick simulation, especially when we want to study the subordinate disease. And Modelica and FME norm seems to be a good tools to do multilingual model. And I, I saw also that during its uh, work, this uh, workshop. I will look corresponding to my work of my uh, second uh, PhD uh, thesis. I will include, uh, I have to include the metamodeling strategy in the Modelica model. I have also to compare our metamodeling strategy to other ones, and I have to develop an indicator to deduce the need in description of our critical block. Thank you for your attentions, and I'm present uh, if you have uh, any questions.